are you giving any advice right now, Michael, on um, luxury specifically for hold versus sell mentality? Because I've heard a few different opinions. And if you don't have one, that's okay. I'm just curious. I mean, it, 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 luxury is so regionally based, right? I mean, we define luxury as three times the average sale price for that given market. So, you know, in many suburbs of Chicagoland, there's three, four, five plus years of inventory above certain price points, right? I, mm -hmm. And so uh, I, in markets of uncertainty, I, I, and somebody's thinking about selling, my advice would be sell and, and, and set the ceiling versus if you don't put your home on the market and a neighbor that's similar size and, and, and a comp, if you will, um, they, they might set the floor. You know, so in other words, they're going to bring down values anyway. So if you're thinking about selling, you know, get all your ducks in a row, do the things you're supposed to to make, you know, proper first impressions, but you want to be the first to sell to set set the ceiling because if your neighbor's more motivated, they have more equity um, and they, they take a low ball offer, guess what? Your, your value might be brought down anyway. So you want to set that ceiling if you really need to sell. It comes down to, I'm a one to 10, scale of one to 10 guy. So on a scale of one to 10, 10 being you want it sold yesterday, one being I don't care if it sells in three years, mm -hmm. you know, depending on a seller's motivation, if they're a nine or a 10, they really want to sell, you know, then, then let's, let's, let's do the things that your competition isn't willing to do and let's hit the ground running and let's get it sold first to set the ceiling versus, you know, let them set the, the floor. Yeah. yeah. So important. Cause I think even, you know, there are agents who are telling across the board luxury or not, you know, just wait, wait till the market's stronger later. It's like, but how do you know for sure the market's going to be stronger later? You, you don't. And it's interesting. Everyone in the luxury space has shared your, your thoughts on this. And I think it's really important, you know, if there's demand, again, there's micro areas, of course, sure. but if there's demand there, why, and, and you have it, why not express that to the sellers who do are motivated to move forward? I think often we, we get in the way of our business or we try to forecast, right? Which, yeah. you know, we don't have a crystal ball. So thank you for that. I, I just think yeah. it's a really important perspective. Yeah. Nobody has that crystal ball. I mean, I have a, a property that we're putting in the private network, if you will, and it's going to be just under 2 million, but it's got an amazing indoor pool and outdoor sports court. And, and I think there's going to be a higher desirability for that home today based on what's on the market in this particular area, uh, 